whether it's a tight hook, a long hook, whatever you want to throw, don't violate that center line theory principle. And that especially comes into play with the elbow. You do not want to finish your elbows over here. You're past the line. Here is as far as you need to go with those elbows. And here is where you will get the maximum power right before you finish that point. It's like finishing a punch over here. You have no power, you have no accuracy, you're totally open. Your punches need to finish on your own center line and be delivered along that center line, not anywhere on the other side of it. So getting into the science of elbows, especially this beautiful lead one, so similar to that left hook. It's really just the, the rudimentary internal components of it because it's not like you're, you're swinging, whereas with the left hook, you actually can swing the arm independently of the body and slap a little bit. <laughs> it's really impossible to do with the left elbow. You have to position, you have to pivot, you have to step in, you have to turn your body, turn your hips, get your back into it, everything. <laughs> what they always told me in Thailand, uh, learning this over there was, Imagine it's like you're stealing something. You're grabbing something out of a window and there's a stick there. And as you grab it, the window is closing down. So it's like snatching a purse that was in Thailand. That's how quickly you want to throw an elbow. You want to steal it. Then there's the up elbow. Krutit at Tiger Muay Thai. At so many stadiums, I saw him just finish fights with a parry and this lead up elbow, and he would just chop people up with it. <laughs> really powerful counter weapon. Then of course, the Anderson Silva back elbow. <laughs> devastating, devastating weapon, totally underused. In classical Muay Thai, there's literally a step through long punch in Muay Baran used in order to set this up. But Yair Rodriguez, Anderson Silva, a few fighters in the UFC have managed to actually pull this off in action, but not a lot of people practice it, and it's hard to actually get that snap. It takes a while to develop, but once you get it, it can be a great setup for the other elbows and a great knockout shot. Then we move over to the tomahawk elbow, where we make this beautiful kind of rainbow-like arcing motion. We can do that off the front or the lead side. Beautiful little tomahawk elbow, which can hit so many of those soft, sensitive targets in the face. You know, always with striking, we want to avoid this part of the head. You will break your hand, shatter your elbow, your other parts. What we're looking for is, like Conor McGregor says, the soft targets of the face anywhere around here. If these aren't available, we look for these ones. If these aren't available, we look for these ones. And if nothing here is available, then yes, we can go here, but we have to do it in such a way that we're not gonna destroy our own weapons. So be sure to practice those elbows, put them in your flow, put them in combinations. Don't overcommit to them. Make sure that you have them set up so that you're not just throwing them naked out of nowhere, off of a parry, off of a block, at the end of a combination. 